This is Bear Williams. I'm in the 29 Palms Desert and I'm going to teach you how to survive out here. Now I don't take pleasure in killing any form of life, but the bees here are very horrendous. Right now we're setting up a bee trap. We're putting in water in an ammo can, mixing it with some sugar, and that will attract the bees and then they'll come in there and drown. We only do this for our own safety because of course we don't want to kill anything unnecessarily. That one's better. That one looks better. You want to see, you want to see a British Marine? Is that what I can do? As you can see here, we have put in the sugar, the Kool-Aid, or whatever it is, and the bees are already attracted to it. You can see one in there at this time. And hopefully, it doesn't kill them, but it just attracts them away from us. It kills them. That's not our goal, however. Yeah, that's my goal. So hopefully this will help alleviate the stress of our fellow troops here and allow it so the bees won't bother us but will come to here. So in a sense we're helping the bees, giving them something so they don't uh, harass us. Right now I'll give you a demonstration on how we're doing this to attract the bees to keep them away from us. We've put the Kool-Aid mix inside the ammo can and now we're going to add the water. Hopefully that will attract the bees because they're like sugar. Now we've added the sugar, the Kool-Aid. We're putting it in the ammo can, and then we're going to add the water and mix it together. That's what we're going to use to try to attract the bees. This is going to keep them away from us, so we'll be happy and the bees will be happy. And as you can see, sugar's been added. Add a little bit of water. Not too much, just so it stays fairly concentrated. Mix it up. Here we have our mix. Now we're going to set it out a decent ways, and that's how we're going to attract the bees away from us. Hoorah! <laughs> that's how you do it. The end. As said, the bees are really attracted to those traps, and hopefully that will keep them away from us. We can see here there's quite a lot of them, and they're already in their own feeding frenzy. So hopefully they'll be attracted to the traps, have their sugar water, and leave us alone.